fellow vapors and welcome to the Devil Vapor Vape Reviews. Today we're we'll looking at the Horizon Tech Duo or Duos sub tank, kindly sent by the people at Horizon Vape Distro. So a massive thanks to them for sending this through for the purpose of review. Now what we're going to do is go down to the table, have a look, get it all unboxed, get it all set up for you, show the two different coils that are included and go from there, bring it back up to FaceTime and give my overall thoughts and opinions on this tank. Now this tank is apparently... Um, compatible with or cap compatible with most popular tanks in the market like the TFV8 or the Milo 300 um, so that is a little thing to take into consideration there if you do own the crappy TFV8 coils um, so yeah without further ado we're gonna go down to the table and have an unboxing right so let's go around the outside of the box you've got horizon tech duo or duo sub two milliliters you've got your tank which is the rainbow and the blue glass version you've got your nicotine warning there as well your scratch and sniff that is probably orange flavor seeing that there's lots of orange on the tank on the back there you have a few specs and showing you how to fill it up so that it's made of stainless steel 65 mil height 26 millimeters in diameter and you do have the option of having an RTA which will be in a separate video but here is the box for the RTA I'll do a build tutorial on that later nicotine warning on there as well horizon tech you have got what coil is included you've got the 0.3 ohm 80 to 100 watt and I think I've got the Clapton coil in there as well which I haven't used as of yet so let's get this unboxed now I have just cleaned this out for your eyeballs just so it's a bit nicer for you to see so it might be a little bit moist you have your tank you have your spare glass which is a blue one um, you can get different colors white red orange green and black and um, they're available around about two pound fifty um, each but they're they're piano painted or piano stoving varnish something like that on the outside but on the inside it is absolutely clean as a whistle so this should be quite durable indeed so that is your spare glass there it's nice to have a little bit of colored glass action you have spare o-rings 510 drip tip adapter and grommets you have your spare coil so this one is the clapton coil which is 0.2 ohms 90 to 110 watts um, and that is a very very big bore there let's let's get that coil out to play now the o-rings on these coils just seem to slip off as you can see there this uh, plastic o-rings come off so what you want to do, I believe it goes up there at the top of the thread. Just put it back on there and you're good to go. But you can see the bore down the middle there of the claptonized coil and a lot of white cotton. You obviously have your positive uh, connector at the bottom there. So let's go through the tank. I have the lovely rainbow version. So let's start from the top and work our way down. You have your drip tip, which is not 510. I think it's an 810. Uh, size here so very very wide bore but you can put the 510 drip tip adapter in there if you wish at the top you have the locked and unlocked symbols which is for your filling ports so you just simply twist out a nice bit of knurling on there um, and you have your filling port and chimney there so that is where your e-liquid goes now this is um, kind of like your bayonet fitting you kind of line up them to line the arrow up with that jobby and job done you know that is locked that is unlocked so we will take this apart as we go down so you have your middle section here your tank section you can see this bit of um, silicone or whatever it is in there we'll go through what that is but it is the reducer for the capacity um, but it is removable we'll show you how to remove it at the bottom here you have your airflow adjustment so you have two or three I think it is three massive wide airflow holes there for you to adjust at your heart's content and it just stops there you can't go any further and then stops there so you can have it anything in between at the bottom there you have your duos sub horizon tech ce bin logo and trademarks etc and your 510 pin which looks to be gold plated and it is not protruding very much at all um, so i would not use this on a hybrid mechanical device so let's break it down a little unscrew so you got your tank glass there this is the tiger coil so you can see the tiger coil on the inside all a little bit ripply i have rinsed this through um before using as said previously so it is a bit cleaner than what it was when it was saturated with e-liquid but to remove this coil you just simply grip it and twist it 
and we'll show you how the other claptonized coil goes in there. So you've got Horizon Tech Duo Sub, you've got your Tiger Coil, 0.3 ohms, 80 to 100 watts. Now I've been using this around about 85, 90 watts and it has been absolutely fine. The flavor isn't amazing, it is your typical TFE8 flavor, you know, a bit more clouds than flavor. I would say it's probably like a 70% clouds, 30% flavor this coil. So that is that one. We're going to be installing this lovely Clapton. So it's 0.2 ohm, 90 to 110. So we'll show you how to get all that set up. And that is just the inside of the bottom of the airflow. To replace the coil, just simply put in and twist. Lovely jubbly. Now we'll go through that godforsaking uh, reducer. This is just a guide. You don't have to do it, but I think you should. You know, put off the glass so you just lever it off. Then you've got this rubber grommet. Grab one side, pull it out, and chuck it in the bin. You now have, I believe, around about five milliliters e-liquid capacity. Now, that makes it look a lot more attractive, doesn't it? You know, you haven't got that big rubber grommet in there. So, remove it. But let's get this coil juiced up anyway. So, to prime the coil, as per usual, la -de da around the top. We have got some jamming strawberry sorbet. Uh, that was kindly sent by the people at SMKD. Um, absolutely lovely e-liquid there. Just run some around the coil there. A few dribbles in the areoli there. They're not actually nipples, but you know, that's the word that come out. And you're good to go. So let's screw this back together. Nice and tight, not overly tight because you don't want to break things, but that is that done. So we're going to fill this up. I'm going to fill it up halfway so I'm not wasting half a tank of e-liquid for this review. So squeeze it in there. I believe it's going to be around about 5 mil with that grommet taken out. But we'll just get it in there just to saturate the coil. Maybe I'll find that I like it, maybe not. We'll soon find out. And then you just get your top cap, whack it on, job done. And then you leave that to rest for around about five to 10 minutes, standing upright with the airflow fully closed. Um, and then that will prime the coil nicely. So we're gonna cut up to FaceTime and we're gonna give our overall opinions on the Horizon Tech Duos sub tank. Right, so we are back up in your face with the Horizon Tech Duo sub tank on top of the N1 Pro 240 watt by Vaptio. Uh, let's take it for a two. I've got it at 74 watts to begin with, so that's a little bit lower, but we're just going to bed that coil in a little bit, the Clapton coil, and see what it's like. Clouds for days, airflow for blooming days. 74 watts seems tepid. That is going to do a lot more than 74 watts. Uh, let's go up to the minimum, which is 90. Let's get that for your face. 90 watts, there we go, and it's coming out at 0 point, bang on 0 0.2 ohms, so the resistance is reading quite well on this. Now the flavor on this Clapton call is so much better than that bloody Tiger call. The Tiger call just seemed to, you know, it used to drink juice. It was all clouds and no flavor. Probably about a 70-30 split clouds to flavor. Um, clouds winning that one with a 70%. 90 watts on this, very, very nice. Let's reach the higher ethylons of the coil. We're gonna go up to 100. 100 watts. A bit warmer. The freshness of that sorbet is coming through a lot more. The flavor is actually quite respectable. I would probably say flavor versus clouds. I'd probably say this is around about 50-50 so far, but the flavor is so much better than that Tiger Coil. Now, this is a bit too much for me wattage-wise, but for the interest of science, let's go up to 110 watts, which is the maximum recommended wattage for this coil. 
you can kind of see it there, sorry. Now that is a lot of clouds. The vape is a lot sweeter. And yet again, the flavor is still better at the higher wattage range, 110 watts, but it's too much for me, to be honest with you. I prefer it. I probably prefer this around about 80. We'll try 86 watts at a comfortable wattage for me. See, that is nice. You're not getting it firing into your mouth, not pushing any vapor, any warm vapor. You're getting a nice, cool, semi-tepid vape there. The flavor is still blooming good, but you're underneath the recommended wattage. Um, you never have to go within the recommended wattage. I normally go under, in all honesty, um, especially with these low-resistance, high-wattage coils. Um, so what do I think to the Horizon Tech Duos Sub Tank? How does it compare to the TFV8? Um, and how does it compare to other tanks uh, in terms of flavor, etc.? Now, this is a big tank, 26 millimeter in diameter. It's going to be a bugger to fit on a few mods, but it looks all right on the N1 Pro. Um, so it's going to look nice on your bigger mods. Um, littler mods, it's not going to look too good. Um, so you might be hard to find a mod for this to go on. Um, flavor wise, the Tiger Coil is bad. You know, it's 70 30 split in, the fa in favor of um, clouds. The flavor isn't too good. You know, it diminishes quite quick. The first few puffs on it is quite good, but then after that, it starts to creep its way down. And I have found that these coils, you do start to get a burnt taste after a few tanks in. The, uh, in that Tiger coil there. So it wasn't a very pleasurable vape with that coil. But so far with the Clapton coil, I've been enjoying it. If I've got any further updates, I'll post them down in the comments as I've just started using this. But so far, this Clapton coil has impressed me more than the Tiger coil did in the beginning. Um, as for looks, I think it looks absolutely lovely. It looks better than the TFV8. Um, airflow control is very nice and smooth. It is quite stiff, so it's not going to adjust in your pocket, but it is a nice adjustment on there. You know, you've got a nice firm grip on the knurling, um, and that is that. As for looks, it looks bloody nice. I do like this rainbow finish. Um, it has been quite popular within mods and tanks um, quite recently. And if you've got a rainbow mod that will accept 26 millimeter tanks, then go for it, you know, 26 mil, it is a bloody tanker. Um, as for features, functions, etc., I do not like, I know they have to put this in for the TPD, um, but I don't like that they put it in for the TPD. I would have just rathered a smaller tank, but it does give you the opportunity to increase the capacity probably to about five or six mil, um, which is blooming good if because it does bloody drink juice. The uh, Tiger Call drank juice like mad. Um, bloody, bloody, blah. It is very easy to refill. I do like the refilling um, ness of it. I can't think of the word, but you know, it's like a bayonet cap. So you twist it and undo it, and then it's simple and easy to lock it back up. And it's not going to fall off in your pocket either. It's a nice, firm grip on there. Drip tip feels absolutely lovely in the mouth. It is the right size. I wouldn't recommend using a 510 drip tip because that would just, you know, minimize the airflow and probably minimize the flavor as well. So what do I think to this? Um, what do we think of the price as well? Including taxes from Horizon Vape Distro as of today's date, which is the 25th of November 2017. I would say what is it 35.95 so it's around about the same price as a tfva ish i think um it's all right it's a bit expensive for a tank though um you know when a little cleto which has better flavor um is around about 20 quid but it is a bigger tank you've got bigger cores etc etc spare glass is available for two pound 46 which ain't too bad i can't complain about that as for coils i do not know um Coils, here we go. Dual sub. Um, £15 for a pack of coils on the Horizon Tech website where you get three coils. So you're paying £5 a coil. That is bloody expensive. Um, that is bloody expensive. £5 each. Yeah, that's a bit too expensive. So overall, what do I think to this tank? Um, it's all right. 
I wouldn't buy one personally, um, but it's been nice using it and seeing how it compares to the TFEA. It's not an amazing tank. The flavor isn't all that, but the capacity is good. If you're into cloud chucking, then it will be for you. But if you're into flavor, I would look elsewhere in all honesty. So that is my review for the Horizon Tech Duos Sub. Um, keep an eye out for the Duos Sub RTA video, which is coming very, very soon to your face balls. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you've got one of these tanks and want to voice your opinions on it, go down below and tell me what you think about it. If not, you know, sit back and watch the rest of the video which is ending very soon so yeah i'd like to thank the people the lovely people at horizon vape distro for sending this through for the purpose of review i'll write links in the description below for more information i've been the devil vapor and you've been watching devil vapors vape reviews